Welcome to another session of Get Dollar Smart. About a week ago, we used Google Finance to build a portfolio, and we put in it some funds that you might expect from a typical company. Now, we're going to click on that portfolio that we built, and we're going to view it, and we're going to do something with charts. About a week ago, we built a portfolio of typical funds you might find in a, in a company somewhere in the United States probably. We put them in on the left. We've got T. Rowe Price, Vanguard, Goldman Sachs. We have their symbols. And now you can see that we've had some performance. It looks like just off the top that the Voya Small Cap Opportunity Fund has gone up 0.34%. Overall return on Voya of 4.38%. Not bad in a very short period of time. This one here, Dodge and Cox Global, has gone up 7%. I'm happy about that. But today we're going to try something new. Today we want an easier way to look at these funds and see how we can compare them. So we're going to start off by clicking on the left in Google Finance in the little column where there's a list of check boxes that we can check and then we're going to compare them and something magical happens. We get a phenomenal chart and our chart shows our different stocks and we can see them in a month view. It looks like they've default to a month, six months, year to date, one year, five years, out to ten years. You see that there's quite a shift if we want to see what stock has done well, what fund has done well over a year, well, let's start taking some of these out until we see which one this is right here along the top. It looks like maybe a dark red or purple one. So let's just take them out and see. Nope, that was it. VBILX, I think that was the Voya fund or the Vanguard. That one down the least. Let's take a look at a shorter time frame. In six months, everything's been down. In three months, everything's been down. But over this last month, things have been going up and improving. And it looks like the red, the DODWX, or if we look down here, the Dodge and Cock Global, has done the best. We can isolate out some of the others by clicking and seeing what disappears. Let's see if we can take out some of those lower ones because it will alter the scale of the chart. There's one of the lower ones. That takes out the Wells Fargo bond fund. And there you have it. We've isolated it down to the top one, two, three, four, five. Let's say we want to get it down to the top two or three, the ones that have improved the best over this last month. Oh, which one is that blue one? We can't take out the start one, the one it started one with PRGFX. I think that's the PRGFX, the T row price. But we've got it down to just a couple. There's three. Now, we've got three funds over a month view. Let's expand it over to a six month view and a five year view. And at five years, we see that the blue fund, PRGFX, T. Rowe Price, has historically outperformed the others. So given that knowledge, I might be inclined to put more into the T. Rowe Price Growth Fund.